you think I can't feel you skulking in the shadows, Bayek of Siwa? I have followed your path of murder and madness all the way from my homeland. And now, you will answer for my son's death, Roman! No, Egyptian. Now you will bow before your god! Yeah, you think? Oh god, that's not dodge. My son! My friends! Okay, that's dodge. Why didn't you kill me when you had the chance in Alexandria? You should have joined the Order. You need us! But you chose slavery. Yeah, prick. That's what I thought. Oh, what's the matter? Oh, shit. Okay. These are nothing but tricks. All right, so I should not lock on for these. Because then I can... Oh, what the fuck? Oh, that's a shame you missed. Okay, they attack really fucking fast. Oh. Don't you fucking try that with bullshit with me. Oh, got him. The man who killed my son. Cowering in another temple. Of course. Your Magi friend Hepzibah also had a stubborn streak. Like your son. God damn it. So he's just summoning the order to help him? It's not fair. They're, all of their invisibility shit here, it's like... Cause like it's like if they see me coming, but I have no way of them not seeing me coming. Unless I can maybe. Oh nope, I don't want you. Come here, you. What's? Oh fuck off. Okay, all right, hang on. What's? There it is. If I can maybe do that. Oh. oh fuck me. Hang on, come on. Oh. There we go. That's right. I can do that. I can just let. Ah, oh, fuck off. I don't know how to break out of that. Oh. Okay. I expected him to. Oh. God damn it. I don't know how to stop them from grabbing me. That doesn't seem to be something I can actually do. Huh. Enough. Face me. Got one. Oh. Did I get two of them? Where's the other guy? You. Where's Where's your friend? You. Hey. You. Ah, oh, there he is. Oh, what? Bullshit. Push me over, whore. I remember you. You're the hyena bitch. Ah. Oh. I really don't know how to not just get got by that. Good God. Come on. You. Hit me. That's not, how do you not, I don't understand what's happening here because like I can't hit them when they're invisible. I can hit them when they're in the middle of an attack animation. I mean, my only option seems to be just to hold the shield and hope they go to sleep on it. Like what, I don't, ah. Uh -huh. Yeah, now it's just you and me, tons of fun. Fuck you. So, like, without this shield, I basically would have been, like, boned, right? Oh. Your time on this sand has ended. Your mind will break eventually. Will it, though? Just like all the others. I... Fuck. I was gonna... Ah, oh, come on. I fucking... My power. My potential. Can you not feel it? Ah, oh, fuck me. He teleports a lot, like fuck You're me. But a farmer. I, is a I was shit never shot. a farmer, that as far as I'm aware. Egypt is. Okay, so you're actually gonna fucking Yeah, that's what I thought. You're gonna be a little bitch. You about love it. my son of his afterlife! Aha! Uh -huh. oh. 
I don't need to be able to see you to kill you, prick. I can poison his corpse. <laughs> I feel like that would be unnecessary. That was not a very good fight. Like, the teleporting away... I mean, there didn't really seem to be a good counter to it. He was a child, Flavius. My child! Now, that's the one thing I do not regret in my life. I will never give you peace! Your son's death made the order bow to me! Caesar, even. I had Rome! It gave me an empire of a thousand sons, each one greater than the last. Ah! Come on! Finish me! You coward! The waste of time! I can't do it! I can't! I can't do it! It's all right, Papu. No. I will... I will lose you forever. Not forever. I will be waiting for you in the field of reeds. This relic should never be found again. Aya must know our son's car has been put to rest. I wonder how Diocles is faring. Yeah, what happened? Oh, is, all, is, your, is your boss dead? That's a shame. I guess you should have done a better job protecting him. I probably shouldn't have uh, just like ran like that. Oh wait, can I? I can't fast travel during in combat though, right? No, that's that's uh, Zelda that I was thinking of. So yeah, I've been playing a lot of Breath of the Wild lately, and let me tell you, it's really fucking with me. Uh, like, because I've been playing Breath of the Wild and Just Cause 3. So like every other game that I play, I think I actually brought this up in my last video because I had been playing Just Cause 3. Uh, where it's like, because of like the amount of movement I have in those games, every other game I feel like I'm so slow. I just feel like I'm moving so much slower than I really am because it's like, you know, I'm just so used to like Just Cause 3 whipping around in the wingsuit and whatnot because I've really gotten the hang of it and I can fucking cruise with that thing. Uh, or you know, Legend of Zelda, you know, I got my horse and I got my paraglider and that so although granted in Zelda it's more that I never go very far to reach my next objective or I never have far to go because I'm trying to collect everything uh like collect all the Korok seeds and everything so you know I have like an interactive map up that tells me where the Korok seeds are and even shows me where treasure chests are which I know you should explore uh, uh don't care the map's huge uh I'm not I'm not worried about it. And, like, I did explore the Great Plateau without anything. And then I got bored. So I'm like, you know what? For the rest of the game, I'll just have the map up and just go from point to point. I mean, I'm not looking up solutions to anything. Like, even the Korok Seeds. It'll be like, hey, I'll just, like, go to the general area that the map shows me and then figure it out from there. Because a lot of them, it's like, there's no reason for me to be over here. It, it, like, because there's quite a few of them so far I found where it's literally pick up this random rock and that's it. There's like no real reason to pick up that rock but unless you know that there's a Korok somewhere around there. But I imagine there's probably like a detector or something that helps you with that, but whatever. All right, so this may be the end. If the achievement we just got was called Almost There, then I imagine that we're heading into the final mission. Uh, no warning, but I mean... Which is weird, because they gave me a warning for the last one. Granted, the last one did have quite a hefty uh, run to it before we got back to the open world. So, I mean, that does kind of make sense. Bayek. It has been too long. Flavius is dead. I have gone to shit to get our son out of the Duat. 
Remu is at peace. May he walk in the field of reeds. I head to Rome to... Rome? You still entertain folly with these ambitions? I have made mistakes. You have made mistakes. Aya? You waste your energy. Ah. You are the famous Magi. Thanos never ceases to speak of your exploits. I have assembled a group. This is Brutus and Cassius, our mm. Roman brothers. Brutus. We're going to cut these bastards down from across the seas. Septimius and Caesar. The order is no longer an Egyptian problem only. Does Cleopatra still rule? There is no ruler in Egypt. Plunged into the will of various tyrants. Our queen has abandoned us for Rome. Nothing has changed here. Memphis is overrun by the order. Aya, we need you. Are we going to Rome? This should never be found, so I'm just going to put it in this box here. All right, we're going. End it like this. One I, last time, eh? That cursed mouth sphere should stay hidden forever. Wait. Cause so much pain. The last of the Magi. Oh, here we go. Because I feel like this is my last location, right? Probably. If I had to guess. Uh, I, well, I don't know that for sure. Where's the map? Does it show up as a location? It does not seem to, so maybe this isn't. I imagine, because Bayek has got to, like, agree to this at some point, right? Like, become a member or the leader of the order or some shit, right? Like, that's what's going to happen here is, like, he's going to end up leading it because, like, I is probably going to die. Just a guess because, you know, games can't fucking help themselves. They got to kill off everyone. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm just gonna assume then that she's out. Ugh, but it, ugh, fuck, I'm gonna assume she's outside because I don't know. And if she wasn't, I'm sure they would have put the marker on the other side, not just like you know in the direction of this door. Because if she isn't outside and that's where they put the marker, that's a horse shit. Okay, good. She is outside then. I guess she's going to Rome, right? So I mean, she's probably on a boat. That makes sense. We are at a harbor. It wouldn't surprise me if that is the last location and it's just not unlocked as a location yet. Because I did... The thing I read did say that... It what well, didn't say, like, you know, it doesn't unlock till the end of the game. It says it unlocks after you beat the game, I'm pretty sure. So, I mean, it makes sense. Uh, if this is the end... Cool. A uh, little disappointed... For two reasons. First, that last boss fight. Because that did seem like a final boss fight for Assassin's Creed. But it was... <sighs> What's whistle? Okay, good. Hello, Mars. Uh, it was reminiscent of the first Assassin's Creed boss fight, which wasn't very good. In my opinion. Like, their use of, like, the powers of the orb is like, eh. And like I said, like, the, with how hard they made it to hit the people... I mean, if I didn't have a shield that put them to sleep when they hit me, I mean, I still probably would have did it because they were doing, like, next to no damage to me. Which is the other thing, right? Where it's like, they weren't really doing any damage to me, so the fact that it was that hard to get rid of them was, like, whatever. Granted, I am level 49, and the max level without the DLC when you should have been fight or when you could have been fighting that boss was 35. So, I mean, I do have 14 levels. Whoa of health <laughs> over it plus extra upgrades to my armor so i mean that makes sense our victories have multiplied our bond not so we could never have been everything has told us our love is impossible why what exactly You're has right. told you that something bigger has called us but our love lives in the duat only now we are letting go. Let the gods decide. The gods are dead. We must sacrifice our personal lives for the greater good. 
All this darkness was for a reason. I was wrong to be so reckless in public without killing. We must work in the shadows. Egypt has fallen. Greece also. And Rome will fall too. All will fall to the creed, yet no one will know. When we assassinate, we assassinate only those who deserve it. The few sick souls who try to control us. But they will never know who we are. Cold, calculated, poets of the kill. I am fine with this. I am not a father anymore. I am not a husband. I am not a Magi. I am a hidden one. Yes. We are the hidden ones. We sharpen our blades and pull what hope is left from this foul earth. Good, Bayek of Siwa. What are you of now? A new creed. Ours is finished. <laughs> oh, that's that's hilarious. Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> Last of the Magi. See now. So they didn't kill her. Also, is there credits now or is there something else? I'm waiting for credits. Oh, oh, that's right. We've got to end this chick. Well, I mean, it's not ending. I'm sure we'll be back to her in the next game. You know, she's going to be the new Desmond, which is fine. I mean, I like her so far. Uh, you didn't see very much of her in this game, which is also fine, because, I mean, the Desmond parts were my least favorite. Oh, Abinti. I should have listened to you. Oh, Abinti. Those don't need to be your to last you. words. Who the fuck are you? Ugh. Does the name William Miles ring a bell? Hmm. The assassin? Then you know who I am. We, the assassins, have been watching you. It's unusual for an Abstergo employee to take an interest in a country's revolution. You're not wrong there. We know about your work with the Animus. Astounding what you and Deanna were up to. D. They played you, didn't they? Sophia Ricken made you so many promises. Enough! We're not talking about her. Sure. Plenty of other subjects to cover on our ride to Alexandria. Don't assume I'm going anywhere with you. Well, let's look at your options. You can come with me, or you can stay here and do the dance of death again and again until you make a mistake. They only need you to make one. There's no going back to your old life, Layla. I never planned to. But you'd finally be able to work on the Animus project. Our version of it. And with us, you'd always have the freedom to do things your way. Fine. Let's do this. That doesn't mean I'm on your side. Good enough. Uh, I guess so. I mean, you're telling me to. I mean, I think it's weird that they did that that was it. And then it's like, go back to the Animus. I feel like there should have been a little bit more with that. Like, maybe they go to a different location. Although then when they take you out, when you come out, if they're... Because I don't think there was really anything to do in there. At least not that I noticed. Uh, when I ran around it there the little bit the first time we did it. The drummer provides the pace for the or Oh, yeah, right. So 
so like now are we going to be going to whatever because technically we still haven't created the assassins we've decided to become the assassins we even got their logo but is that for foxy does a gift no it's a relic i don't want to talk about the domestics isn't that by x let me have it i'll give it to foxy does myself he loves these things I'll kill you. How about that? I'm in no mood for compromise today. We passed Neapolis in the crack of morning. With strong wind, you'll be standing in Rome's forum in uh, two days' time. It's over between you and Bayek, eh? I can feel... No decision is easy. But you are a chosen one. And now you are free! <laughs> like me! So begins a new day. Oh, shit. Okay, sail to Rome. Let us go. For battle Amigo. speed. I, You know, we're not in battle, but let's go battle speed. Just, you know, because we got a lot of fucking ground to cover. Fall of an empire, rise of another. I do like how Brutus is one of the assassins. You see, now, I do recall saying something like that right at one point because i said like they had the armor of brutus in um don't drop your guard entirely was it two they are expecting us or no it was brotherhood i think they had the armor of brutus so that does make sense i think i called that done with this scum and move on to the next pile of scum infinite scum such is the world we live in oh oh do i stop okay now Okay, so that's Brace. Okay, there's my long shot. Let's go, galley speed. And then I think left trigger is to fire. Yeah, okay. And then when they get close, there's a button prompt to uh triple arrow volley tap. Oh, okay. We have been spotted. Well, yeah, we weren't really. Will summon their navy. Prepare yourselves. Galley speed. Yep. Let us away. Okay, I see one boat on our right, our left. Here they come. Oh my! Forward, men! Litter the sea with their shattered hearts. Uh, I guess I'll just head. Oh, there's one right. Oh yeah, that's right. I have catapult. Oh. Ah, the songs they will sing about us when this day is out. If that happens, Foxy does. I will wear seaweed like a siren and sing them myself. Uh, I will hold you to that. Oh, get Believe shit me, on. You would be sorry. Now let's end this. We're under fire. Fire bombs. That's what it was. Oh, dude, your boat's so fucked. Oh, you gotta be. Come on, reload, reload. Finish them. Thank you. <laughs> Another down. Is that where's the, there it There's is? There's only one more left for oh, the wait, no. Oh, hang on. Fire there, because it takes them a minute. Oh, get fucking wrecked. Those catapults do a fuck ton of damage. I really gotta open with those more often. I gotta learn how to aim with them. I keep trying to use the left sticks. Uh oh. Gods. Fire ships, if you don't know, are just little Our boats. Too tightly formed. They'll hit us. We are overwhelmed. These hell ships are too many. Are they though? We must sink them before they reach us. They'll doom us if they strike us. Take them down. I get it. Feel like I didn't. Huh. I still feel like I didn't. And fire ships. Of front. course, my batteries are low. Why wouldn't they be? Oh, there's one. Two, Fighting! three, Fighting! 
Hey, okay, got two of them with that one. Oh, did I get that one? I did. Fire fire. More fire ships close! By the gods, they're everywhere! Oh my god. We're under Go fire! Speed. Easy pace. Let's just do that. We're under fire! Huh. Firing! Okay. That one, I don't care. Yeah, it hurt, but suck it up. Brace! Ready to fire! Ha! Huh. Counter Ready fire, bitch. Fire! Fire! Get that one. That one. Brace! Brace. Ha! Huh. Fire! That one. Get that fire! one. We're under fire! Oh, uh, what, are you going to be nice and just stand still for me? Oh, uh, how nice. I don't know why I'm... Ha! It's fine, it's fine, that's just... Oh, come on. Ha! Okay, I got the one. There we go. Poseidon, help us! It's an armada! Do we have the firepower to deal with this? I can't see how! With I our mean... fleet dispersed and our allies gone, we're undone! Nah. Man up your own sword lick! Save your bloody ship! Come on. Where... Another fleet there! Yeah, but that one's ours. Jove's pissing on our heads from the peak of Olympus! No, no! It's Brutus and Cassius! Look! Oh. And our catapults with them! Put them to use! Brace. Oh my god. May! Don't fear this beast! She's a great and girthy whale! But we'll dance around their bulk like minnows in a pond! You weren't a poet in your youth, were you, Foxy Das? Oh, shit. Well, I mean, it wouldn't be an Assassin's Creed videos without fucking dead batteries, that's for sure. Ah, what we should have been. A right, wait for the last one. You must write your memoirs one day. I may just do. And if you'll promise to sneak one copy into the library, our legend will live on. Sure, this chapter will be the most widely read of all. Well. Nailed it. Fuck it. Steady, steady. My only real question about the bracing, right, is like, how, like, do you have to, like, like, is it as soon as you press the button, they're braced and you take the less damage, or is it like, they have to, like, you have, to, like, because there's that second where they actually like go down, right? Okay, if I can get rid of at least one. That looked like it was hitting the weak point. Okay, hold, hold, hold. Okay, it's fine. Get, get it up there. Firing! We're under fire! Right, fire it over there. Oh, it's fucking. Firing! Steady, steady, steady! I got it though. Heave to galley speed. Bring it! I'm coming for you! Brace. No, that's not. Speed, Hold A! Ram them! Get them! Boosh! Oh, get shit Gotta all speed. over. Fighting. Oh, what's the matter? Is your weak point like right fucking there? Did you go that way? Fighting. Fucking stay facing me, you prick. Got ya. Is that the best you guys got? I play Black Flag. I know what's up. Let it rain! Down you demons into the sea! Hey, you slaggers! Form up with the rest! Today, we sail together! What port are you taking us to? There's a town called Antium I'd like to try. Lots of merchants sail in and out of there. Should be safe for you. From there, it's a half day's ride to Rome. 
Are we actually going to end up going to Rome for this? Like, like, I really don't know. I feel like that would be a good spot to, like, leave it off, you know? Like, Aya start it and then have her appear in the next game. Right? Have the next game, like, pick up right after this. But, you know, I don't know. Like, have her appear in the next game as one of, like, the main characters that you talk to. But here's the thing, right? Ezio had a love interest. He didn't... It is only a matter of days before Caesar will officially become a tyrant. There he is. The people love you, Caesar. You're a god. The Senate will not bow so easily. That parliament of clucking hands. Let me be your wolf. Go. Do nothing until I give the signal. Oh man, am I gonna have to fight him as Aya? So Caesar is the king of the order now. Caesar is the father of oh, understanding. God. All right. Yeah. You All and right. Caesar will die. You are meddling with the affairs of the order. The order is greater than Rome. Go back to Egypt with the rest of the liars and slaves. Oh my God, that's such a huge range. You make range. me understand why murder is just. Oh my I God. All right. Armies. Huh. I control greatness. I will erase your order from the annals. Kneel to Caesar. Oh my Kneel god. Kneel to Rome. It feels yeah. good to side with winners. We oh, are yeah, the writers of Fuck. history. Caesar will follow you she to oblivion. He is kicking his ass way your easier than Your son pissed himself when he saw the knife. I will feed your heart Wait, what to is my lunches. other one? You have no Oh, it's a honor. hunter bow? All right. You stole everything from me. I oh, am a Gabignani. I don't know what that means. I thought you would scurry away, little one. Nope. You should have taken your chance to drop off the map. Fucking kicking your ass, boy. isn't here to save you this oh, time, God. No Roman deals will be made. Yeah, prick. Oh, shit. You shouldn't do your overhand one. <clears throat> oh, fuck. You got me with that one. I feel like this... Because, like, last time I played this... Her oh, God. I feel like she didn't have any of the upgrades that Bayek had. Uh, whereas this time, like, especially, like, oh, God, what the fuck? With, like, the chain attack and that, I feel like she definitely does. Oh, get in there. Nice, got in there, get him. Oh, you didn't quite move out of the way fast enough, boy. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, fuck, nope. Yep, alright, that hurts. So if he hits me once, he basically gets three attacks. I'm gonna start this again, eh? Oh, oh, damn, his other one went low. Oh, that's a shame. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Ah, oh, yeah. Get up. Get up. You haven't made the... Hey, nope. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, get in there. Yes, she made it in between them. Nice. Nope. Hey, let's get the lock on back on. Oh, that's a shame you didn't, you didn't get your kick off. Am I supposed to be? Okay, good. I was like, am I supposed to be doing something here? You really paused for a long time. Damn you, Lupa. My son's heart. For your life. Was revenge everything you hoped? You and the Magi shall drench the sheets with your sweat tonight. <laughs> this stuff.
stuff. With the order. I served them and your beloved Egypt. And I'll be rewarded in the afterlife. An eternity of drinking and whoring with my brothers. The only thing that waits for you is oblivion. For your name, your order, and the rotting corpses of your Gabignani. Up and devour your fetid heart. Kick his ass. He did kind of uh Caesar must be in the Curia with the rest of the Senate. He did start to do some pretty serious damage there near the end when he got when he started actually connecting with his things. He started attacking a little bit faster than I was expecting. You know, he's a big dude, and like, you know, the big guys, you don't expect them to go that far. This place is crawling with soldiers. Uh, we'll be fine. Now, <laughs> what wouldn't surprise me, because, like, the next one you're playing as a Spartan, you're probably in Rome, or, you know, we'll end up in Rome at some point, whatever. It would not surprise me to see this as, like, an actual area that you have to go through in it, uh, which I think would be awesome. Just, like, a little, just, like, you know, because it would be, like, a small callback, right? It wouldn't be like an in-your-face thing or nothing. It would just be like, hey, remember this? You were here as Aya. Uh, but once again, that's if she lives through this. I mean, I still don't expect her to live, even though she's already lived. She killed the guy who theoretically would be the one to kill her, right? Let's get in the water here. Uh, once again, I hope she doesn't die. It's just one of those things where I'm expecting it. Uh, because it's, like, the obvious thing to do. But, I mean, Bayek's already agreed to be an assassin. Uh, little does he know he's also already come up with the, uh, oh, up and over, girl. There we go. Get into, oh, Sister, nope. Get into the bush. Oh, shit, I hope this other guy, nope, the other guy turned. Good. Good. A little bit closer, a little bit closer. Go check the other bush. Remember, we're supposed to be stealthy now. We're not supposed to publicly kill people, although I don't know what she would consider what she just did. And uh, Caesar, okay, so I know Brutus kills Caesar, right? But, oh, fuck. That is more or less the extent of my knowledge on the subject. <laughs> like, all I know is that Brutus does, in fact, kill Caesar. Done. That is my knowledge on the matter cake okay, can is that water deep enough probably i hope good i need to uh reset here a little bit i'll stay under for now uh yep should not go straight through the front shockingly enough they have quite a few guards there i know right who guards the front door that's never where the guys come from probably because there's so many guards there right check check good One guy there. Shh, don't crawl up on benches and shit, girl. God. Oh, there's a guard there. But there's a line of... If I can get through the... I don't have a... Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't have anything to, like, throw to distract people, right? Like, a, like Far Cry style, just, like, toss a rock and be like, ha-ha. Which, to be fair, in this game, I can kind of see why they left it out. I mean, it's not in the other Assassin's Creed games because you don't need it. Because you're so fucking over... Oh my god. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Get back in the bush. No, you did He's not dead. see me. <laughs> fuck you. Oh, fuck. Nope. Nope. Stop the lock on. Stop the lock on. Run away. We are get. Oh, God. Ow. Drawing way too much attention. Ow. Ow. I gotta say, these guys are a lot more accurate than the guards in the other Assassin's Creed games. Oh. Can you not finish? 
Climbing? Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. All right. Well. Oh, here we go. A ledge. A ledge. Drop, 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 drop. Get down. Good God, girl. Okay, so if I had climbed up there to begin with, I probably would have been somewhat fine. See, now this is the situation, right? I don't know if I can make it down there into the trees without them because I feel like whenever they've like noticed me, like I've ran away from combat, it's then insanely easy for them. Where it's like, as soon as I get spotted again, it's like immediate combat. I realized not right there it didn't. But at the same time, that wasn't spotted by the guy who I was in combat with, apparently. So, although he was an archer, so he may have been shooting at me. I wanted to do this so stealthily, and then I just fucked it up. I, I, it didn't check my corner. I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, I don't have Senu, obviously, but I just didn't check my corner, and I got fucked. Okay, can I go up? here at all. I saw an up the other way, but I feel like if I can go up that way, that's more of a, I start up and I come down those stairs for like a stealth approach. Here now. All right. Well, I mean, one little kerfuffle there, but you know, whatever. I think that changed to assassinate Caesar, but I know that's not my job, so. Oh, right. Await her signal, right? Wow, you're so... I <laughs> get it, because she's an assassin now. only this, that you join with me in building a new Rome. A Rome with you as king? Let's see... Nope. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. You too, my child. Wow, he stabbed him right in the dick. Not cool, bro. Not cool. The tyrant is dead. You are free now. Wow, get got, son. Like, you got fucked up. Do I know you? You who strikes from the shadows. The same fate will come to all despots. In the end, it is impossible not to become what others believe you are. And I was a god! There is a new creed now. Yeah! Rome is eternal! She will never fall to you or your kind. Freedom is not given, Caesar. It is taken. Requiescat in pace, Caesar. Why you speak in Italian? I don't like that. There's no reason for her to say that. Like, because why would she speak Italian there? Do you know what you've done? Caesarian would have sat on the throne of Rome. Listen to the cries in the streets. They call you a dead tyrant's whore. I am still your queen. You are a queen of liars and snakes. I fought for you for five years. Our people worshipped you. Apollodorus died for you for Egypt. For Egypt? I am Egypt! Then be the ruler our people deserve. Or nothing will save you from my blade across your throat. 
You are the last of the furrows. Oh, back to Bayek. Uh, now the question is, is Aya coming back to Bayek or what? Like, I don't... Like, is she going to show up and be like, hey, we're good now? Because I got to say, that was really easy. You would think it would have been a lot harder to get that close to Caesar and kill him. But, I mean, just threw a hood on and walked in. <laughs> Guess now we know where Altair got, got his skills of blending in. So that's, uh, that's all it takes, eh, to become an assassin. Just put on a white hood and then all of a sudden just nobody knows that you're there. They're like, who's that guy? I don't know. Looks the same as everyone else, though. You know, even though nobody else <laughs> looks like that. Uh, I will say her outfit, and I guess by a standard outfit, uh, does look a lot more assassin-y than, you know, what I have on now. Uh, I understand why they want, why they gave you the ability to change clothes and that. Just, to, you know, mix it up a little bit. I wish that it did something, though. That would be nice, because, I mean, you did get different I armors in Diocles it. Is faring. I mean, he's probably fine, right? I don't remember who that is. It, uh, I was going to say it's too long in between playing this to uh, remember all their names, but even if I played it in a row, like, beginning to end in one sitting, which would be insane. Bayek. Caesar has been assassinated. Septimius is also dead. She's gonna sign it with the thing, I bet. I have founded a bureau in the middle of Rome. Yet, no one knows of our existence. Like a moon, we are the hidden ones. I believe in you. The irony of freedom. We are free of each other, yet it brings me no happiness. We must move forward. Remain in our tempest of blood poetry. Despite it all, we dance, and they die. From darkness we have come, and in darkness we shall stay. Humans are not meant to last forever. But this creed will. The creed is the only immortal thing in the world. Go home. You're free. I don't want to go home by myself. I'm scared. Should we take him to the Bureau? No. I'll take you home. Let nothing grieve you beyond measure. For your life is short and time will claim its toll. But I am no longer who I was. I have renounced all love I once had. I have renounced Aya. I have killed Aya. I am now the Hidden One, known as Amunet. That was really weird that they had her walking towards the camera as she said that. That was really weird. And credits, if I had to guess. I mean, that seemed like a credits thing. I feel like they should have had the credits loading in behind it because it kind of lost its... You know, it kind of lost its impact where, you know, she... Oh, no, it wasn't that. May yet. your victories multiply.
All right. Papa? Jump. The New Game Plus option has been locked. Go back to the test game. Okay. Old habits. Oh, I completed all locations. Oh, shit. All right. And the end. Complete the last main quest. So that has perfected the main game of Assassin's Creed Origins for me. Uh, apparently, we don't get credits in this game. I mean, that's a little weird, but whatever. Now, the real question is, where's the Bureau? There's Memphis. There's a viewpoint that we were at. Uh, oh, is that the Bureau? That is the Bureau. Bureau of the Hidden Ones. Let's go check her out. Because we never got to see it. Now, the weird thing to me, right, is that you didn't have to beat the game to start the DLC. But the DLC is all about going and helping another Bureau of Hidden Ones. Which means that if you didn't play the main game first... You know, if, assuming you played any Assassin's Creed games, and even if you hadn't, you'd probably piece it together pretty quickly who the Hidden Ones were, but it's still weird that they don't make you go through it, you know? Uh, uh. Yeah, I see. You got anything to say? Ah, bye, oh. What do you got to buy? A tablet of knowledge. Holds uh. the secrets of an ancient civilization. Reading gives you a thousand additional experience. Can be purchased repeatedly. Oh, so you can just buy experience <laughs> with your money. All right. Uh -huh. uh, let's see. Charging speed. Uh, yeah. Okay. Health on hit. That's not bad. Melee damage. All right. Uh, uh. Sure, you do. Goodbye, you, you need to fucking. You need to stop making that noise. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I guess we'll just do my little mini review now, even though I've already got the DLC and I'm planning on it. But you know, I like to do. Like to do, well, I say mini review, it's just more or less a short review, just shorter than most other reviewers. So, overall, uh, fantastic game, good addition to the Assassin's Creed series. Uh, Egypt was great, the map was good, they filled it relatively well. I feel like the map could have been a bit smaller just because there were certain locations, like certain sections of the map that we went to, or that I went to, we didn't go to them that were really empty, that were like, just like there was no reason to go there. And then other ones where there was so much to do in it that it took you a long time to get through it, right? So I feel like either they should have spread it out a bit more or just cut down the map a little bit. But I realize that when a lot of developers nowadays go for open world, they try and make a bigger map as they can to be like, oh, look at the size of our map. And then, you know, they forget the important part, which is fill it evenly so that it actually feels full. These guys did a, or they did a pretty good job on this one. I like, it didn't feel empty. Uh, there was a lot. The upgrade system was nice. I like that. I kind of wish that the armor did something though. Uh, like in the other Assassin's Creed games, you got the different pieces of armor. Not only did it change your look a little bit, but it also gave you a bonus. There was also that special armor that you would get in each Assassin's Creed game, except for the first one where you didn't change your armor. Uh, that would give you like an added bonus like in the one I can think of the most is Black Flag which had the weirdest bonus which is bullets curved around you. You couldn't get shot anymore when you had that armor. Uh, other than that I think the rest of them just gave you like better damage or like better like more armor more health is pretty much all they did. Uh, I don't know about the one in uh, Unity because I never finished that game. So I never got the special armor for it. Because the special armor you generally don't get until close to the end of the game. Technically, this one, you could rush this armor relatively quickly. Um, but to be fair, if the armor actually did something, odds are they would have put something in place so that you couldn't rush it, you know? Uh, Story-wise, good story. You know, classic revenge tale. It's like, you killed my son, I'm going to kill all of you. And he fucking did it. He went and killed them all. Him and his Aya. Uh, the combat was good. It felt a little, it felt like a clunky Dark Souls. I realized Dark Souls is already a little clunky to begin with. But it felt like a little clunky Dark Souls at the beginning. But by the end of it, I was doing a lot better with it. As you could tell, I was just fucking, I was barely worrying about stealth. I would just annihilate them anyway. Just walk in and wreck shop. Uh, but I will say that is because I would get used to the weapons. Like there's certain weapons that I've never used or like barely used because I didn't like their fighting style. But the variety is there for the people who would have enjoyed those. So, like, I picked the weapons that I like the most, like my sword and shield and my two-handed axe. 
fucking annihilated everyone because I learned how to fight with them. Uh, and it worked. Uh, having Senu instead of Eagle Vision, I honestly like that. Being able to see through walls was a little OP. Um, but the way Senu found stuff, like, like the marking of enemies was nice, but the fact that you physically had to find each enemy to mark anyway, it kind of took away from the fact that you had like the bird's eye view because you still had to spot everyone, even though, and he could see through walls. So if you saw a building, you could just like aim at the building and he would still mark people in it. But, you know, I feel like there, like there should have been a different way to do it. I don't, I can't think of it, but I feel like there should have been a slight, like it should have been slightly different somehow anyway. Uh, so yeah, the combat was good. The leveling up, the abilities was nice. The upgrades were nice. Uh, the graphics, obviously, it looked really good. Uh, complaints about the game, like I said, at the beginning, it did feel a little clunky. Before you get your hidden blade, you can't kill anyone without using your bow. Uh, so, and you can't move people who are knocked out. So that was one thing about stealth at the beginning of the game, is it really felt kind of out of place that you could knock someone out but not move their body. But the thing is, though, with that, is that he also wasn't really knocking them out because he would, like, take them down. And then he'd just be like, uh, uh, on the floor. And it's like, you know what? Knock the fucker out and move him. Don't just have him squirming on the ground. That's not, like, you know, you don't want to kill the guy. That's fine. But, I mean, at least knock him out so he can't alert you, right? Um, uh, the weapon variety was good. Like I said, there was a lot of nice weapons. The shields came into play. You had parry. Not that I used it very often, I, but I'm more of a dodge person than a block person. Um... The skill tree was really good. There's a lot of good abilities in there. There was, uh, and then they let you pick how you play. Now, obviously, I have a lot of skills in all three trees, but when you're building up, it does make you think about, like, oh, do I want to just grab one of these quick ones that are only one point, or do I want to save up two or three points for the next one down this tree so that I can do that, right? Uh, not a whole lot of stealth. Like, here, we'll go into the uh, uh, abilities here while I talk about it. So like, you know, obviously you have warrior, a lot of good abilities in warrior. As you can see, I've almost maxed out my warrior tree. I'm only missing one, uh, which is a perfect dodge, which you would think I would get because, you know, I fucking dodge all the time. Oh, well, sword is easy. I don't know. And then obviously you got your seer, which is just basically like a general purpose one. Like there doesn't really seem to be over time while well, in the afterlife. That's got to be for curse of the pharaohs, I think. Uh, it doesn't really seem to be... Like, it's, like, a general use one, right? Like, it has, like, all your little tools. It has your poisons. But, like, after you get the poisons out of the tree, there's not really a whole lot. Like, the lion taming here, I probably wouldn't have even bought... Or animal taming. I probably wouldn't have bothered with it if there wasn't an achievement. Because I never... I like, smoke screen damage. The only time I ever use my smoke screen is by accident. Obviously. Uh, and then salesman in that. I mean, I didn't really feel like I needed to sell too much. Uh, and then, like, the hunter tree. It's all about bows. As you can see, I have most of it but there's a few that i don't have because like i very rarely used hunter bows and uh because i didn't much care for them and i didn't really use hunter bows all that often because once again i didn't really care for them right the i never got eagle harass either although that is good that is i will say going to be my next perk that i buy yes mainly because there is an achievement tied to it but i feel like it still would have been my next perk anyway uh and then you got ones like this which is Hunter's Instinct. You know, Marcus Villain and I mean to see the path they're currently taking. I highly doubt that I'll ever get that because unless it's like the last thing because, or one of the last things, I guess. There is a couple more that I probably would have less interest in. Uh, just purely because if you watch the person, you can see where they're going. I mean, yeah, they might take like a sharp turn at some point, but meh. Uh, the inventory says the papyrus puzzles were good. I did enjoy those. And there was only a couple of them that you couldn't figure out from the main map. And there was a couple of them that were like, yeah, like the one where it's like, hey, there's this tree in this whole region that you need to find. And it's like, well, that's not like I had to look that one up because it's like, that's a big region. I'm looking for a specific tree. It's like, I have no fucking clue. And they like, they didn't give you any information about where the tree was. Uh, but like I said, the gear was, you know, uh, the tools in that. That was good. Uh, I actually like the fact that they didn't give you a berserk dart because that would have made it insanely easy. Uh, as they do in the other Assassin's Creed games where you have berserk darts. Like, man, that's a big guy. I don't really want to fight him. Berserk dart and you've won. Uh, 
the mount system, you know, it's it's whatever. I mean, it doesn't morning mist, sure. It doesn't really make a difference in the different outfits. I do like how the even though they shaved his hair and that they let you choose whether or not you had your hood on, whether or not he had the shaved head or the shaved beard. As you can tell, you know, I kept him with his hair and his beard and I took his hood off for a good, you know, I did. I had his hood up for most of it. But then as soon as I started getting armor or like outfits that had like face masks and that, then I would take the hood off. Uh, the quests were pretty good. There was some that were fairly repetitive, but you know, that's to be expected in open world game. As you can see, I did 125 quests, uh, which is as far as I can tell all of them. I mean, I never saw another one. Uh, and then, yeah, like I said, map size, pretty big, but there were some areas, there was actually a couple areas like the, um, like the desert here, the white desert. Uh, I want to say the great sand sea too, uh, that just have nothing in them. Uh, like obviously the seas up here, like there's just nothing in them. And then there's certain areas like the Katara depression. I had a few like side quests in there, but overall there was like nothing to do in there. Uh, and I feel like the map could have been cut down a bit. Now, I will say, obviously, this map, they couldn't really have too much options in because they're basing it off of real life. Like, I'm assuming that if you looked at a map, uh, you know, Alexandria would be there. Memphis would be there. You know, Giza would be there. You know, I'm assuming these places would be at least relatively in that in that location. So, obviously, they were a little bit, they had to make the map this big if they actually wanted to get Cyrene and Karanaka in there, Karanaka, whatever, and Alexandria and whatnot. Um, but there was just like, like there was just certain areas that seemed a little empty, but at the same time, they were a little empty. So you went there, you cleared out the couple things and you fucked off and that was it. Uh, the teleporting to the, the fast travel with every viewpoint was nice. Uh, once again, it would have been nicer if the viewpoints were a little bit more spread out, as you can see. There are some pretty big distances in between them. And then there's some where it's like there's three in Alexandria. Plus, you could teleport just to Alexandria because it was a city. So that's like, all right. I mean, I feel like you don't need to teleport to the city if you already have teleports with that. But whatever. Increasing Senu's perception with each one. I feel like that was a good idea if I knew what it actually did. Now, as far as I can tell, it let him mark them a little bit better. And it may have let him hone in on the targets and whatnot a little bit easier, like um, a little bit better. But it's hard to tell because it was something that increased so slowly because uh, it had so many increments to it that it was like you don't really. It's one of those things, right, where it's like if you're going at a certain speed and you go get to like, let's say you're going 100 miles an hour to get up to 200 miles an hour. If somebody just like pins it, you know, you'll notice it but if they like slowly increase it'll take you a minute to be like oh wait oh that's right we're going faster now right stuff like that right or somebody getting taller like a millimeter at a time right like that's what it felt like it's like it was it was such a slow increase to it that it wasn't noticeable uh and unless you actually stop and think about it at the end what the hell is this one lights among the dunes level 40 i don't even know what the fuck that is don't care um Oh, but wasn't there another quest like that? Anyway. Uh, so, yeah. And then, like, you know, I like the target system. I mean, I feel like we actually had, like, a group to go after this time, whereas in most of the Assassin's Creed games, it's like, we need to kill this one guy, but we're going to kill these other guys first because whatever, you know? Whereas in this one here, it's like, here's this group. We need to take out this whole group, which I liked a lot better because it felt, like, a lot less like I was wasting my time. Now... As for the money in that in the game, going back to the gear, it was decent. I mean, it wasn't horrible. The fact that you could upgrade your weapons to your current level, I did like that. That was awesome. But at the same time, it also meant that like I got these weapons fairly early on and I just would upgrade them and I wouldn't change out my weapons because they had the good abilities on them. So I didn't bother, right? Uh, which is... I don't want to call it a downside, but I mean, I, it is. Now, granted, since they were legendary weapons, they cost a lot to upgrade, but I mean, you can, like, and I could have been doing it a lot more than I did, technically, but they had that achievement for to sell, like, 100 junk items at once, so I mean, I wasn't selling stuff right away. 
Uh, and then as for like the out of stuff, like the out of animus stuff, like with Lila, Ly Lila, whatever. Um, I mean, I liked her. She seemed all right. But like I said before, you didn't really see a whole lot of her. So, you know, I guess we'll see how that goes. I imagine she'll have a little bit more in, well, she actually, I doubt that she'll have a little bit more in the DLC because come to think of it in any Assassin's Creed game, as soon as you get past the main storyline, you never saw Miles again. Like any DLC that was released for it, you never saw Miles again, except for obviously Revelations because it's DLC. You had to go through it at, like you went to where you were Miles to do it. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how she, as far as I know, she it'll still be her in the next game, but I don't know that for a fact. Uh, but she seemed all right, you know, betraying the Templars, whatnot, good. Uh, they didn't kill, Cleopatra kind of betrayed you, but not really. She was just like a shitty queen, basically. She was just a shitty person, but she didn't betray you. I, I didn't... Well, she kind of betrayed... I don't know. It was weird. Uh, but uh, Aya didn't die. I was happy about that. Not because I didn't want to see Aya die, because I thought... Well, I didn't, obviously. Um, but because it would have felt like it was going to be like a too obvious to like try and get your emotions. But they still broke Bayek and Aya up which is the thing they seem to like to do with the assassins. But the thing is, is that the assassins keep propagating. Like Miles is the son of an assassin, which means that at some point his father had a relationship with someone, right? And they said that they had like a commune or something where they were raising their, them in that. So I mean like they had, uh, so like they can have relationships with people. And if anything, a relationship with another assassin would be the best. And like uh, Ezio's parents, you know, his dad was an assassin. As far as I know, his mom didn't know very much about it, if anything. But, I mean, that she may have. I don't know. Uh, but the point is, that he had three kids. Like, he had three kids with her and got away with everything he was doing up to a point. So, I mean, I feel like they didn't need to break them up. Uh, but, you know, whatever. That's fine. I mean, at least they didn't kill her to try and... Because I feel like a lot of games and movies, TV shows, all that, they do that now. They, like, have, like, the character that they, they know they're going to kill off to try and get a reaction out of the audience. And it's like, all right, but why? But, it, like, the death serves no purpose besides to just, like, make the main character really sulky, basically, for a few episodes or for the rest of the movie, you know? Uh, but, yeah, other than that... Uh, the story was great. I wish that they would have got the hidden ones up and running before the end of the game. But with the DLC, I imagine we'll see a lot more of that and that'll be better. Because while this is called Assassin's Creed Origins, I feel like it wasn't too much of an origin story. Because to be fair, they at the like it was basically a montage at the end where it's like, hey, look at that, we got our assassins now. But like the entire like you played like how long in this game? Like a fucking like a hundred hours or something. I don't know how much I put into this game. And, uh, it, and the assassins get built during a montage. And like, they had the one chick at the end, they were cut off her finger. It's like, I believe in you, whatever. I don't know who that was. <laughs> like, I think it would have been a lot cooler if they had got it built up beforehand. And then like all these people that I was meeting and I'm like, Oh, that person's going to be assassin. Oh, that person's going to be assassin. You actually recruited them, you know? Like, I think that would have been a lot cooler and then it had something to, like, then maybe they would have had a part to play at the end or something, right? But, like I said, the DLC, I'll get into that next week. And the first one is all about the hidden ones. So, I mean, we'll see how it goes. But it isn't even the hidden ones in Egypt. It's the hidden ones. Well, I think they're still in Egypt, just a different region. Uh, but, yeah, we'll see how that goes. So, thanks, everybody, for watching. And I'll see you next time.